So it's day seven. Tomorrow is the last day. Today is the last full day. And we've got plans. Yeah, we're gonna take out the trash. <laughs> Julie and I both got Montezuma's revenge, but uh, yeah. this is like the third day. I think we're done. I feel like a new woman. All right, you might have saw this day one. We didn't know that we were just standing by gold the whole time, but I knew it when I saw that menu. I was just like, you gotta go back. So many people have said, you have to go to La Casa de Tonio, and a lot of these places are like, okay, I better write this down. And this is one we've had on the list. We even know exactly what we should try here. Pozole. Wow. La Casa de Tonio. It's a little bit different. Instead of ordering like you normally do to a server, they give you a list and we're gonna mark what we want. Everyone requested that we try pozole. That's why we're here. I mean, this is kind of nice. They just brought this right out. Salud. Not sponsored. Look, it says here, it seems like it's all in English, but then you look close and it says, returnable which probably means that if you return this, you can get some money back. They just one-upped uh, a lemon in a Corona. They brought out a cold glass with lime juice and a salted rim. So we just kind of margaritaed his beer. Ooh, gracias. This is kind of fun because it reminds me of like my bartending days. I'm starting with the spiciest one. Oh, no. That is so freaking hot. Is it? Do not eat that. My tongue is burning off. Oh my god, I have the hiccups, like, right away. You have the hiccups already? Don't eat the habanero, JP. Unless you want to take a bath in your own sweat. JP, too much, too much. It's not that bad. Sope. Sope, I always thought was soup. It looks like they got crema cotija cheese. You can order this dish with any type of meat, and we chose bistec. No, I don't think you eat it like this, Jules. Why, is it falling apart? Yeah, it's just, like, super messy. I don't think I'm eating it right, guys. How do I eat this? Comment below. Here we have like the tortilla. You can tell like, they probably make this here because it's a little thicker than a regular flour tortilla. The bean, steak, cream, and cheese. With a little bit of lettuce as a garnish, I can only assume. No. It's good. Pozzola. You can see there's some radishes, lettuce, soup, and if you dig deep, we're gonna find, it looks like, Masa and there's some pork in here too, okay? It's hot. It's good. It's hot, but it's really good. You know what? I've had a lot of like Mexican soup in uh, the States where they, you know they put tortillas in it and you can tell they also season it just like that Mexican cheese blend. This is not like that. This is my favorite thing I've had in Mexico. Give it a tasty. Wow, it's got such a different like taste to it. I'm gonna agree with Julia. It's probably like the best thing I've had here so far. We finally found the chalupa, guys. That's a chalupa? No, it's a quesadilla. At this point, I think I've seen three different styles of quesadilla since I've been here. One thing that I have heard is that you're not supposed to add like a ton of different sauces. I'm not a huge fan of this because the chicken's kind of plain and tough. Maybe we shouldn't have done chicken. Better. I think one of the downsides to Julie and I having a taste test stuff because we can't enjoy the pozole. We should have just got three bowls of that. We are going to another friend's house to cook with them. So I may have said that we're going to my friend's house. Okay, and this is a real legit cooking class. Yeah, in my element, this is where I like to be, wearing my apron. You look good, you look like you work at Walmart. <laughs> yeah, I got the boys in the kitchen. Okay. Is it a thunderstorm? So with the three eggs here? Three eggs, half corn, blend. Yes. Yeah. 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 I take the egg out of the shell or? See. Okay. Making a white mole with the white peppers. Do you hear that rhythm? Oh yeah, JP. Now that we're here in Mexico, we can learn how to make tortillas. Unlike that one time that I tried. Okay. I have an idea. Oh, it just keeps breaking. Yeah. All right, let's see how I do. Hey. Good job. You made that yourself. Don't bring your mouth to 
Oh, it's beautiful over there. It's beautiful. I kind of want like a little snake to come out of there. <laughs> Alright, we're not done eating. No. I think that's why we had stomach issues, Julia. No one should eat seven meals a day. Look at that, Jules. Bitcoin Embassy. I can't believe we're ordering more food. <laughs> Day eight, we're gonna get some more food. No, I'm not hungry. We're going to the airport. We got our bags. We're all packed up. Leaving the Airbnb behind. All right, family. Thank you. This is the tiniest Uber. Should have got the Uber XL. <laughs> you really should have. Let's go to the airport. All right, guys, we're leaving. We're leaving Mexico. Just kidding. We haven't had wings yet. <laughs> so let's look at this menu. Well, we don't even know if they have wings here. Maybe they're calling it wings because, you know, they serve like lots of, you know, birds like duck, chicken, quail. You're let's look right. At the menu. That actually makes good sense. I actually don't see any wings on here either. It doesn't look like they have chicken wings on this menu. That looks like blue rice. It's an omelet. Oh. This is so misleading. Where's Buffalo Wild Wings? <gasps> Buffalo Wings. Oh, and look at the sauce. Mango habanero orange chili sauce or barbecue. They don't actually have buffalo sauce. <gasps> That's messed up. This is like a sampler. It comes with like, is that a burrito? Is that curly fries? Oh my god, is this Arby's? I want it all! We're getting back to American cuisine. Sandwiches. Mexican burger. Hamburgers. Wing, a wings burger. It's got guacamole on it. No one's got chicken on it. That beef looks suspect. Julia said this is the Applebee's of Mexico. I love Applebee's. <laughs> Looks like Applebee's. Smells like Applebee's. It even has boots like Applebee's. Gosh darn it, are we in an Applebee's? Is this our last meal? This is the last supper. It's kind of sad compared to the last supper. They put water on the table just like uh, uh, hotels. So if you drink it, you're gonna have to pay $42. Excuse me, pesos. Good thing I brought one with me. <laughs> it is more expensive to eat at the airport, even in Mexico. Yeah, like three times more expensive. It's actually kind of equivalent to what American currency is. Not at Jenny's. These are the most expensive thing that we've had here in Mexico. Yeah. These six wings cost wings. $10. Looking around at the pictures, Alex was just like, uh, I think this place is called Wings because we're at an airport and airplanes have wings. Makes sense. Anywho, wings in Mexico. How do they compare to the States? Let's see here, they seem to have a sauce on it and then we have two sides of sauces. This looks like the mango habanero. I don't know, it also looks like liquid butter. Is the sauce on it? Yeah. It is? What's that sauce though? You're not gonna be able to eat this. You're not gonna eat it. It's so, it's so spicy. We should have gotten barbecue. I think that we all want to see you sweat one more time before we leave Mexico. Oh, maybe it's a habanero sauce and then that's a mango dip. Yeah. I see what's happening. See, the mango cools it down. Hopefully. Good. Spicy though, right? No. You know what I noticed though? We didn't get a single uh, wing up. They only have one part of the chicken in Mexico. <laughs> Yeah, these are really good, especially with the mango. I don't think it's that Not spicy. With the mango. The mango Not with the so mango. Sweet. Seriously though, tasting it without the mango was really, really incredibly spicy. It's good, right? Mexico. I like your wing sauce. Yeah. Follow Julia on Instagram. At Julieta Julia. I got chili killers. That looks good too. That's the divorce eggs. Yeah. It does look good. So the divorce eggs we learn because they have two eggs with two separate sauces dividing the two. Oh, mamacita. You guys said that we should try it and you guys were so right. Chili quiles is one of my favorite dishes here in Mexico. That egg yolk is not as runny as yours, GP. That one's runnier because they got divorced. One wanted to run away from the other one more. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if I'm eating it right, but my way to eat it. It's good. I like eggs. This red sauce kind of reminds me of a uh, Chef Boy or D ravioli for some reason though. That's freaking good. It is good. 
Yeah. And the sauce is just like saturated into the tortilla. It's like a little bit crunchy. So. Mexico. I think we missed out on trying all of your breakfast, but at least we can go out with a bang. Desayunar está bien. Which means breakfast is good. Okay, we're pretty much done here. Where do you want to go eat? The bathroom. She wants to eat the bathroom. That's how we're ending this video. Goodbye, guys.